Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 2 of our tutorial for PGA 2K21. Today we are going to be covering a topic that many people may know but a lot probably do not and that is how to calculate elevation. Today we are at the gorgeous newly released Sky Peaks Resort in Canada made by Mr. Arctic Fury himself. And this course actually works really great because there is a ton of elevation changes within it. So today, as we take a look at this absolutely gorgeous course, we are going to be going over what you do for elevation, whether the hole is above you, below you, what's it going to do to the ball and the flight of the ball when you're hitting into not only the greens, but the fairways or anywhere else as well. How much distance it either adds to your shot or takes off from your shot and what you can expect at least in a no wind scenario what the elevation is going to do to your golf game now i do want to say for this tutorial this is if the pro vision elevation is turned off because if you have pro vision turned on for elevation then it will actually calculate all of that for you so this tutorial on Elevation is if the pro vision is turned off. So let's get into some shots and let's go over what is going to happen to your ball when there are elevation changes out on the course. So when you're looking at the HUD, the first thing that you'll see on your ball marker is that it is 295 yards. This is set to carry distance. So I'm going to carry this ball with my driver 295 yards. Right next to it, though, you will see something that says 75 feet down. That means that from where I am standing to where I am hitting to, it is 75 feet down in elevation from me. Now, the simple way to look at this is if where you're hitting is below where you're actually standing, it is going to add distance to your shot. If what you're shooting at is, let's say, above you, like if we were hitting up here and it's 70 feet above, it is going to take distance away from this shot. Now, the calculation for this is still the same. If you played 2019, it is the same as it is now. Every three feet of elevation change, either increases or decreases the amount of carry you're going to get by one yard. So if you want, what you could do is you could just, you could pull up a calculator. Eventually you'll probably just do these calculations by yourself without using a calculator. But if you want to, you can pull up a calculator. This is 75 feet down. We know for every three feet, it is going to add a yard of distance, which comes out to 25 yards. So, this shot, if we were to hit it full power right now, instead of getting 295 yards worth of carry, we are now going to get 320 yards of carry. So then what you can do from here, like for this shot, you can pull up this right here. So, we are going to get 320 yards of carry. That's going to put us right here. If we were to stripe this right down the middle, that's where the ball is going to land. Again, with no wind, because the wind will affect it too. But if there's no wind, this is where this ball is going to land. You're going to get it the same amount of rollout as well. So we can zoom out here. So we're going to be landing somewhere in about the middle of that downslope right there. Now, we can play this. We can play this uh, just as is. The problem is we might get a roll out into the rough uh, or we can just bring it back, club back, do the same exact calculations for this. And we know 75 feet. Every three feet, we add a yard, which gives us 25 plus a 248. This will give us a 273 if we were to hit this full power, which would put us right in the middle of the fairway. Now, the next thing you can do is you can look 273. We still have 278 to the hole. Do we want to just try to drive it just to try to get close? 
Uh, do we want to play it safe? How do you want to play it? But the decision is yours. We are actually going to try the driver. I did turn it down to beginner just because I want to make sure that I get perfect swings here. So we're going to try the driver and we're going to see where we get. We should get about 320-ish yards of carry, although it might be a little bit more because it looks like it might go down in elevation past the point of where we're at now. But it should be about 320. So let's see what we get. I overpowered it a little bit. 320, right on the dot. And we're gonna roll this nicely down here and we are safe. All right, so now for our second shot, we have 199 to the hole. This goes 199 yards. And when we zoom in, we can see it. It's 199, it's 22 feet up. So we know that every three feet of elevation, is a yard, 7.33. For this, we subtract. Because we are going uphill, that's going to take distance off. So if we do 199 minus, we'll just round down to seven. This shot is actually gonna go, if we hit it full power, it's going to go 192 yards. So that would put us right here in the rough. Now, the thing with hitting to an elevated green or something that is elevated, when you're using clubs like a four iron, a three iron, five iron, six iron, when you're hitting into something elevated, not only is it going to decrease distance, it is also going to increase a little bit the rollout. Because what you are essentially doing is you are cutting that ball off before it reaches its maximum trajectory down towards the green. Since we're cutting off gravity, pulling that down at a steeper trajectory towards the green, it's going to hit and it's actually gonna roll out just a little bit more. So that is something to account for as well. But we're gonna try to hit this full power into this green and see what we get. We got no bounce whatsoever. <laughs> we got no bounce whatsoever. But it did go 192. It did go 192. And if we go back and look at this, let's just take let's just take a peek back at it. I, I, one thing I did notice is our lie. Uh, and I'll go over this a little bit more in another video. But just real quick, just to explain why that happened. Our lie is a, a, a severely downhill lie. Downhill lies are going to flatten that ball out even more. It ended up going the same distance, but it was it was flattened out so that when it hit that hill hard like that, it hit it and just stuck. Because this course actually has extremely soft rough, which is great. That's probably why that that occurred. I just wanted to kind of go over that. But it still went about 192, so that's that's what we were looking for. All right, so here's a par three. This is example number two for everybody. We have 166 yards to the pin, 32 feet up. So again, we know 32 feet divided by three feet for every yard, 10.66. So if we want to hit this, I'm gonna give you another way of looking at this. If we wanna hit this right at the pin, we need to add this 166. We need to aim for about 177 yards. If we wanna hit this right at the pin, if we want the ball to land at the pin, we need to hit this 177 yards in total. So if we zoom in here, that's 170, that's 180. We have to hit this right here 96% on a six iron. So let's hit this and see where we go. Little far, little far, but pretty darn close to dead nuts on the pin. So the way you gotta look at this, we don't wanna hit it right at the pin. Uh, we do wanna hit it a little bit short cause we have to adjust for the rollout of the club that we are hitting. So probably the best course of action if you wanted the best shot into this would be to do a little bit of a baby fade to this if you're a right hander, a little bit of a baby fade so that we can bring it in to here and kind of roll it up close to the hole. 
Uh, but we're gonna go right at the hole for this this uh this scenario. So we need to hit it 177, right? But we don't want to hit it right at the pin. We want to hit it uh, a little bit before the pin. Like we want to hit it a good, you know, five six yards before the pin. So for these, every one of these boxes is a yard. We want to hit it five yards short. So we want to land it one, two, three, four, about here, five. So if we're looking at 177 to hit it right at the pin, we actually want to hit it about 172. So we're adjusting for the elevation, but we're also adjusting for the rollout of the ball. Now, when this hits on this green, it is going to kick forward a lot because we're going to be landing it on a downslope, but we want to land it short to try to run it up into the hole or maybe even catch some of this and have it roll back. So we want to land it five yards short. We know 177 is what we need to land it at the cup. So we're going to go for 172. So now let's uh, let's re-hit this at the 172 and see what kind of outcome we get. So like I said, we did get that big skip up there uh, because we're hitting into a downslope, but we landed it about five yards short. It did still bounce out a ton just because of landing on the downslope, but that's what we get right there for the elevation change into this par three. Since this is a tutorial video, I just want to show you what I would have done. I would have done a little bit of a baby fade here uh, is what I would have done. And I actually would have increased backspin a little bit uh, and then I would have hit the shot. Let's see what we get here. I would have done something like that. We're on the putting surface. It was still went a little long, but we at least got a putt in for birdie here. That's what I would have done. All right, last example for everybody here, just to try to beat it in, you know? We have a driver here, 295 is this driver. It is 85 feet down. So 85 divided by three gives us 28.33. We're gonna add that to 295 since it's down in elevation, which puts us at 323, pretty much 324, somewhere in the middle there. So we can actually go and look, where is 324 out here? There it is, right there. 324 puts us just right of that initial end of the first bunker. So we can go out and zoom out and look at it. All right, so it puts us right at that edge. From this straight out to the fairway is where we're gonna land this ball. But it's a driver, it's gonna get some roll out. And that is sloping out to the left. So we are gonna just stripe this right where we're aiming land it just off of the fairway and have it roll right onto the fairway. Beautiful. Just a thing of beauty. And that is elevation. The only thing you really have to remember, the main thing that you need to remember, every three feet, of elevation change is either going to increase or decrease the amount of distance that you're gonna get out of your club. If you're uphill, the distance you're gonna be getting out of your club will be decreased. If you're downhill, the amount of distance you're going to get is going to be increased. Now, there is some very specific things with elevation that will affect certain shot types, i.e. flops, splashes, chips, but those are things that I will be going over when we dive into the specific shot types in this game. So do know that all of that is coming. I wanted to get out though an overarching way to calculate elevation for people who either don't know about it, are struggling with it, what does it do to the ball when I hit it, things of that nature. So there you have it. Elevation at a very high level for this game. That is what elevation will do out on the virtual golf course after you strike the ball. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about elevation, please let me know in the comments below. I also stream live over at twitch.tv slash respawn TV Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. We are usually playing this game. If you have questions, you can pop on over there. Ask me a question that you have about elevation or about the game in general. I do have a ton of tutorials coming out. So just know that if this is something that you knew, 
and you're looking for something else, more than likely that is going to be coming. I have a ton of tutorials that I have scheduled to come out, so just be on the lookout for those here in the next couple of weeks. I am working on a tempo one. I don't know if I have any tips to get tempo down other than just play the game and practice. I don't have a specific tip to give everybody that's an overarching tip that works for everybody. I'm still working on that, so that's probably going to take quite a bit of time just because I don't want to give you guys something and have it work for only 10% of people. But be patient. As soon as I find something that works consistently, I will 100% put it up onto a YouTube video. I also have almost narrowed down a way to read greens for people who are struggling with putting, uh, where to aim it, how hard to hit it, things of that nature. I almost have it completely narrowed down. I'm still working out a couple of kinks, but that is close, and that is more than likely going to be coming out here in the next couple of days. So be on the lookout for that as well. Thank you for watching this video, though. Greatly appreciate it. I hope I answered any questions that you have about elevation. Again, when it comes to chipping, splashing, flopping, there are some very specific things that happen, uh, and I need to just get myself into those specific scenarios, and I want to lump those all into when I go over the shot type itself. I'm going to have a tutorial on splashes. I'm going to have a tutorial on flops. I'm going to have a tutorial on chipping. So be on the lookout for that as well. Hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And we'll catch you back here for the next one. Thanks for watching. Deuces.